What's good, YouTube? Your boy, Jamie Flow here with an offensive money tip. Uh, boy, something that's been strongly requested, Jamie. How do you run the ball in Madden 17? I got y'all, bro. I got y'all. I'm talking about the strong runs, not like the base and stuff. I'm talking about the strong runs. The first thing you want to do, no matter what you're doing, uh, if you come out with something like iForm, just go to this. Like, the first thing you want to do, make sure you have good blocking receivers. So that means, uh, that's Brian. He's a decent run blocker, so I might keep him on the outside. But then, if you really want a power run and you're not mixing passing in your game, if I was you, I would put tight ends out here. Because you know, tight ends have the best run blocking. The first thing you want to want to do is check their run blocking. Like, I think James Hanna a good run blocker. I have no idea. But uh, I know Jason Williams is better, so I'm going to take him out. No, not Dez. Uh, where is Jason Witten? So I'm going to go find Witten. Well, where is this ninja at? Oh, he's still there, I guess. Well, whatever. But y'all know what I'm talking about. We going, you just want to make sure, make sure you have your best blocking tight ends in the game. And then the other thing you're going to want to do is pick, don't spam one play. Always, uh, like, so if I was see that, I would come out something like that. All right. So it's a numbers game. All you want to do is split the screen down the middle. So we see on the right, we have one, two, three, four, five people. Now on the left, we have one, two, three, four, five. So they're like, okay. So there's five on the left and there's, I mean, five on the right, five on the left. But I only got one run blocker on the right, right? So either I could, I could, dang, I got power in here. So if, if you had power, because most uh, playbooks have power as audible, you would say there was like three people on the right, but there there were six on the left. Uh, I would be like, okay, I only have gathers over there blocking with five people. And now I have two people plus my fullback over there if I run this counter. So that's I'm just winning the numbers game. You want to have more blockers than they have uh, Huey McCall. So you're going to see rerun the ball. That time he got off a block shed. But that's all it is. It's just a numbers game. If I was to run this ball to this side, with five people, I only got Jason Witten blocking over there. And y'all just see how many more people can come and pursue me and pursue the ball. So that's always what it is. You don't want to ever have your mind made up of where you're running the ball. Like, oh, I'm just going to run into the right next time. No, just read the uh, read the field. Now, if everybody can hold on to their blocks, then that'd be straight. But uh, y'all see what I'm talking about. Like you see, as long as you win in a numbers game, this is why uh, a lot of people, you will see them flipping a the play like this. Cause a lot of smart players, they 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 literally that's all they're doing. They're just playing a numbers game. And they waiting patiently. They waiting patiently. God dang! We all see we got way more blockers. We have way more blockers towards the five on the left than the five on the right. Like y'all see, we have Jason Witten. We have my fullback. We have a pulling guard coming. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So that's five. Everybody, everybody gets on a hat. Uh, if everybody gets on a hat, this should be a touchdown. So if 41, right here, where's my fullback? Who's not doing anything? If 41 gets a block, if he gets that block, and if he gets this block, if everybody gets on a hat right here, this should be a touchdown. Like if, like, so you see, my fullback got to his guy. If that, if my receiver would have just blocked that guy, that's a touchdown. And 40 and 70 would have blocked the next guy, that would have been nothing but open lane. And this is why people are so successful at running the ball. Because people say, all people do is run the ball at Madden 16. That's because they made it more realistic. Now people are baseline and running their blitzes. They're weak to one side. Yeah, so when they run a stretch or a counter over there, all they're doing is winning the number games. That's all it is. And yeah, I just don't got no run stick or stick skills. But the other thing you want to do is don't hold our trigger off the snap of the ball. Do not hold our trigger from the snap of the ball. When they hike it, if you pull it, just wait just wait don't hold the turbo until you hit the hole because it's what most people uh have problems with is when they run the ball they hold turbo from the start they run into the alignment a lot they run straight into the alignment they hit their butts and they're like dang y'all like they're running halfback base and they're hitting their alignment they're not hitting the holes but like i said all you want to do is as soon as you wait for your guard to pass you as soon as he passes you and you see the hole then you hold turbo what this is going to prevent is a bunch of uh, getting stuck behind your lineman because I know a lot of people run into that is going to prevent that Also, it's going to allow you not to run into hit stick a lot of people like right there I just wait till I hit the hole then I accelerate now, I'm not getting a lot of yards because my tight end is not blocking I don't know why 
don't know why they ain't blocking. But y'all see, he finally blocking. But y'all see what I mean? Uh, you, because if I was to hold turbo, I will run into my line. I do stuff like, look at this. That's exactly this animation you get. You get caught up. Yo, if I would never ran into my line, I would have been gone. Just you wait, patient until you hit the hole. And as soon as you see the hole, that's exactly when you want to just. Uh, that's exactly when you want to hold turbo and take off. I don't get me wrong. If it's fourth and one or something, and you see that hole, like you hold turbo. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's an inside zone or a zone run, you can hold turbo. But any type of base counter run, any type of run like that, you want to wait till you hit the hole. And now y'all see everybody matched up on the hat, and that's exactly why I won that numbers game. Now, uh, another thing a lot of people like to do, like, if I was to, I don't know what formation, like, uh, we got single back ace, the stretch, the famous stretch play, bro. This is another reason why this is successful. How to run, this is how you can be successful running the ball. Now, right here, I'm counting. Every, this whole formation is symmetrical. So, no matter what, like, I'm gonna, it looks the same. So, if I just hit X and RT, I flip the, I can flip the play without them even knowing. So right now I'm like, okay, there's an extra guy out there. Y'all see that extra guy on the right? So I'm like, I don't want to run it over there. So I'm going to just run it to the left. You know, I got three on three. So I run the ball over here. He gets a block shed. My dude just too weak. But that's why you want to have good blocking tight ends there. He is so weak, bro. So I flip the play. Like I see him out there. I get everybody on the hat. And this is why the runs are so successful in this game. Because it's, it's nothing but the numbers game. If they beat you in a numbers game, like if I run to that side, look what happens. That's what happened. But this year, they made it, the run game so realistic. Like, it's not people being bummed. It's just us actually not being good because we're just letting them. Once they get more hats on us and then everybody gets on a hat, that's when it gets bad. Like, you see, when everybody gets on a hat, that's when it gets bad. Stuff like that happens. Oh, man, everybody has a hat. That's exactly what happened. So if you want to be successful in this run game, make sure you just split the screen down in half. Just, All right, I'm going to split it. Wherever you, like, say you got two blockers to the right, like, whatever side has less numbers and you have more blockers, that's the side you want to run to. It's that simple. And if doing this, like, look at this. This is why, this is what happens to most people. This is exactly what happens to people. Oh, he just spamming the stretch. No, he just, all he did was count. He was like, dang, my boy is a, it's a blocker over there, so I'm just running to the left. That's all he did. But sometimes this is why you want to have uh, good blockers over there. Good, uh, like, a lot of people with sub tight ends here, here. And then they'll sub a tight end. They'll sub, they have four tight ends on the field. And this is exactly, oh, man. It's just, and then now, once you learn this concept, this will even help you stop the run, even. So just running the ball in Mad 16, this is exactly how you can be successful. I mean, I hope this helped y'all. This should help. Uh, this is just, this is the basics of Madden 17. It's all about the numbers, y'all. All about the numbers and run blocking. Run blocking is the most important stat. So make sure you figure out, uh, what who do you have that has the better run blocking who has the best run blocking on your team figure that out and make sure y'all know those because those are crucial so once you sub those people in and key moments like escobar look how fast he's getting look how fast he's getting block sheds i mean look how fast he's giving up block sheds like y'all see hypothetically if i run a ball to the left every time i should have a wide open touchdown but y'all see my tight end ain't that good at run blocking so he's not really holding his block that tight end at least so I'm gonna find something that is somebody who's better, just like someone like Jared Cook or someone. Like I said, but I hope this in, uh, I hope this helped y'all. And if y'all enjoyed this, uh, let me know. But until then, it's your boy J Mail Flow, aka Mr. Let's Get It. Let's. Go.